Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at some discriminant questions. Now, um, if you're rusty on the discriminant, please go and visit my uh, video on that because I'm going to go quite quickly through the um, summary of how we use the discriminant to find solutions or to find the number of solutions to a quadratic function. Okay, so to start with, a quadra quadratic function is given by this f of x equals a x squared plus b x plus c, and it's quadratic because the highest power of x is 2. The discriminant is the bit in the square root of the quadratic formula equation. That's b squared minus 4ac. And what we find is, is if b squared minus 4ac is bigger than 0, we have two real distinct roots. That means we cross our x-axis twice. If we have b squared minus 4ac is smaller than 0, we have no real roots, and that means we do not cross our x-axis at all. And if we have b squared minus 4ac equals 0, we have one repeated root. That means we just touch our x-axis without crossing it. OK, so our first example, y equals x squared minus 4. Uh, we compare it here with our quadratic function formula, and we have the values for a, b, and c. Then we slot those into our discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac, uh, plug all the numbers in, work it out, and we get 16, which is positive. That means it's bigger than 0, so we get two real distinct roots. And that means we cross our x-axis in two places. So we've got two solutions when f of x equals 0. OK, so the second one, we've got um, y equals x squared plus x plus 3. Again, we compare it. We go set out our a, b's, and c's. We slot them into our discriminant. We work it all out. And then we find that our discriminant um, is minus 11. So it's smaller than 0, which means we have no real solution. So it does not cross our x-axis. So we know it's up floating in the air somewhere. And my third example, sorry, that should be a 3, um, is here, x squared minus 4x plus 4. Um, again, we compare it. We find our a, b's, and c's. We put it in our discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, work it out, and we end up at equals 0. And that means we have one repeated root. That means it just touches our x-axis in one place. Now, please note, when we work these out, all we're doing is finding the number of solutions. We're not finding what the actual solutions are. We have to do other work to do that. We can do that by um, completing the square or factorizing or other ways. But for this, with the discriminant, we're just finding the number of roots. OK, I hope that's helpful.